Hello. In this video, we're going to talk about how to close the DS-200 at the end of the election. The situation now is that it's past 7 p.m. The chief has gone outside and announced that the polls are now closed, and all of the people in line that were in line at 7 p.m. have been able to cast their ballot. Now we're going to go through the process of closing the DS-200. Just like the opening process, it's best to use two people when you do this, uh, go through this, one reading the checklist and the other one performing the actions. So the first thing you want to do is check the ballot box's emergency ballot bin, the upper ballot compartment for unscanned ballots. Use the silver key, the same as you did in the morning when you opened it up. We open up the emergency ballot bin and check inside. There should be no ballots inside. Uh, unless there's been some kind of a machine malfunction during the day. In that case, you should call the Director of Elections and ask her what you should do and how you should take care to safeguard those ballots. Now remember, the provisional ballots are never put into the DS-200. Those are the ones that are in the green envelope, and they do not belong either in the emergency ballot bin or in the DS-200 at all. Closing the polls. Unlock the access panel on the left of the scanner with the round key. Now we'll take the round key and there's an access panel with a round key hole here and we'll unlock that. Press and hold the close poll button for about three seconds. There's a button inside that has the words close poll on it. We'll push that for three seconds. Press close poll on the screen to confirm the scanner should be closed. Now this is that gives you an option and the, the close poll button is the red button right here. So we'll press close the polls. The scanner will automatically print ballot status accounting report and three voting results reports. The write-in review report will print after the last results report. You will need to print one additional report except in a primary. There are no write-ins in a primary. Press the report options report to, options to reprint the, an additional write-in report. The report options button is the gray button right in the center. So I push that. Then you're going to select write-in review, then print report. The third one down is right in review, so you touch the screen until that's highlighted, and now hit print report, and that will print the second right in report that you need for the statement of results. All right, remove the results tape and secure with the statement of results. Follow the instructions found in the completing the statement of results. All officers should sign the statement of results. Document the information on the voting equipment officer and opening and closing report. Turn off the scanner by pressing finished, turn off on the touch, off, touch on screen. First thing we have to do is get back away from the write in report screen. So we will press cancel on that screen. And then this gives us an option, and the, the button here says finished, turn off. That's what we'll, we'll want to do. Is now shutting down the DS-200 and is printing or it's putting all of the information that's in it on the USB that's inside this door. After the scanner has completely powered off, the power button will not be illuminated. Remove the USB device and lock the access panel. The power button is on the inside of this uh, panel right next to the closed pole button. It's not illuminated now, so I can remove the USB and just pull it straight out of the top. Place the USB device into the small white envelope found in the front of uh, equipment binder and then place in envelope seven. So here's our small white envelope. We're gonna put the USB inside. And that goes inside envelope seven. Then you want to complete the information on the back of envelope seven. 
Remove the scanned ballots from the ballot box and place in box or envelope number three to return to the election office. We'll use the silver key. We'll open up the ballot box, take the orange seal off. You should cut this seal, but because of the demonstration today, I'm not going to cut it. You don't record that number anywhere. Now we close the lid on the blue ballot box, pull it out, and set it on a table. Now we remove all of the ballots that have been cast during the course of the day. These ballots go in box or envelope number three to return to the election office. Follow the instructions for packing and sealing the boxes. Do not put a seal on the ballot compartments. Close and lock the scanner and out, outer cover. Attach a red numbered seal to the scanner's outer cover. Red seal. Close the lid. We'll lock it using the round key. And then we close the clamshell door. Use the silver key to lock the clamshell door. Attach a red numbered seal to the scanner's outer cover. Now the seal gets put on the latches on the clamshell door. There's four holes here, two on each side. You can pick any one of the four. Put the seal through the holes and seal it like that. Now what do I do with the seal number? You want to enter the red seal number on the voting equipment opening and closing report and the back of envelope seven where indicated. Okay, I have a seal number here. Just wait, let me get to the report. Okay. I have seal number 1043535. Okay, so I'm also going to take that number and put it on the back of envelope seven. Okay, what's our next step? Hold on. Next, you want to unplug the DS200 from the wall power and store the cord in the back compartment. Okay, now, again, remember that the back compartment is still open from the morning. We'll unplug it from the wall. Make sure you bring the surge protector with it so that we don't lose our surge protectors. We'll fold the cords up. And you want to lock the rear compartment door. Just using the silver key. We'll lock the rear compartment door. And now the DS200 is ready to go back to the elections office. You return the keys to the voting equipment binder. Do not put the keys in the envelope seven. That concludes the video for how to close the DS200 at the end of the uh, election day.